Hello. Oh, I'm not talking. I'm on Zoom. Hi. Hey. Mike. Uh, hi, Elijah. Okay, super. <laughs> so, how you doing? Oh. Hi there. Let me just bring this up. Oh, good. I'm so glad. I, I guess you don't do, I, I mean, I don't do Facebook a lot. So, I, I thought maybe, um, uh, uh, anyhow, you weren't responding to my request. But this is wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> So tell me the situation. Um, Kai Q says some of the best, uh, the biggest old growth that's left. Um, I'm, I'm sure you realize that we're down to less than 1% of the forest base is old growth. And of that, 35,000 hectares is forest with huge ancient old growth. Um, that's in the site index 25 and over. We've lost site index, you know, 30, 40, 50. But... Um, what's in the KQs could really, you know, big stuff, you know, certainly the site index 25. And, you know, we're, we're dealing with, I don't know, three, four, 500 hectares in total, but it could be some of the best old growth left. So I know you guys like to have a river. There is a bridge with a river. Yesterday, I, I went down at the beginning of September, end of August to Racky. And I'd never seen so many roads, so many logging roads. Like there, there are just so many roads to go in for a quick haul. So Joshua has been, you know, he's been looking back again, but he, the last couple of weeks he hasn't been able to observe by satellite because of weather. But with what I observed at the um, end of August, I mean, they're ready to haul quickly, like really quickly. So Joshua figures it'll all be, you know, said and done by the spring. Um, I'm just wondering if they can even be done by the fall because it got so many roads in there. So there is one main road into the area that would be reasonably easy to blockade. And which territory is it on? Like it did that. And again, to my knowledge, there are another First Nations without a proper, you know, her um, hereditary chief structure. Um, they're, you know, they're they're into logging. Um, the village is shut to the public. They won't let people in, you know, for COVID. Um, I did speak with a, a, a woman who, you know, outside the village and she said, yep, they're taking the big ones. They're just taking it all out. And she was fairly young and she didn't look impressed. Um, so I'm, I'm sure there's going to be like anywhere, you're going to have people inside who want to log and people who don't. Um, Kathleen Code has written a letter to send to the Dididat First Nations. So I think things are in place where it could be done fairly quickly. And it would probably be done like it was done with the Pachita, which is, you know, we're, we're just going in. We send the letter and we're going in anyhow. I mean, I'm personally, you know, yes, people are divided. Oh, well, first of all, it's the manpower because let's face it, every, you know, people like to show up for the blockades on weekends <laughs> and it's not so easy during the week. But there is, from what I can see, quite a division in the group. Oh, we have to honor what the did a dat want, yada yada, which is really nice. But really, you know, what about the did a dat kids? You know, not not only are we losing the last of these incredible trees and forests and, and all that it holds, you know, what about their kids? So I have a feeling if we get things going, we might end up getting support. Unfortunately, with these small First Nations communities, they're, they're good at oppressing, you know, dissenters. Um, so it, it, probably, it, it may well be us versus them. But I, I, I don't know. Well, I mean, <laughs> the thing is that's such a big difference with having someone like Bill Jones. Yeah. Where you do have some jurisdiction. Um, it's such a big difference, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and, and here we're dealing with, I mean, it just is incredible that they're, you know, they're doing this. But if you, you know, when I drove around north of um, the north end of Carmana Provincial Park, I mean, everywhere is being hammered. You know, all these new clear cuts, like, and from what I could see, they're, they're just taking them right up to the, the rivers, you know, up to, str to stream. There, there's, there's um, you know, areas that you didn't think would be logged are just being cleared out and they probably already have been cleared out it's it's just a war zone and i and i'm not sure i think you that area would be did at first nations territory 
you said like how far away is it like oh mm. i'll send you the um watch i can send you a little four minute video um that joshua's put together to explain the situation so do you know where Nitnat lake is no okay you know where lake couchin is so if you go to the end of Lake Cowichan and then turn left on that, on the um, Kaikus Main, and then you, I think it's about a half hour drive down from there. So it's not that far. You're basically driving to Lake Cowichan, to the end of Lake Cowichan, um, then half an hour um, down to, I think is about a half hour drive to where we'd want to blockade. So I, I take you live in Victoria? Right now I'm in Vancouver. You're thinking, oh, okay. Oh, okay. You don't have a fixed address, do you? No. No. Do you house it or you stay with people you know? I just stay with people I know or who I'm working with or usually it's people I'm working with. Yeah, cool. Very cool. Um, okay, so anyhow, for people from Victoria, it's not that far. Um, you know, I, I think I can get a, a, a couple of people I know, a few people I know down there as well. Um, you know, what can I say? Oh, oh, actually, Glenn Reed did send an email about his findings yesterday. Do you want me to just quickly take a look and read it? I yeah. haven't yet gone, gone through my emails this morning. Sure, I'll pause the I'm recording because I, I think this is a living story. So I like to. Oh, OK, you know, whatever is occurring as I just as everyone will need to keep their part of speaking. Oh, um, Okay, so anyhow, there's various people talking about this, about, um, uh, okay, urgency, let me just get to, oh, there's huge strings here, oh, good God. Okay, so the KQ is by far the best of what's left on, on the South Island. Um, now, yeah, and so what the findings, okay, here we go. Oh, and um, one of our members has, or I guess I shouldn't call us members, but uh, one of our activists has found that the Pachita and the Dididat do not have binding agreements uh, with the government and, and corporation. So, uh, so the agreements are a continuation of poor treatment by government, um, which may mean that that's what forces them into basically, you know, hyping out their environment. Uh, and so, okay, you know what, I don't know, I was hoping to get a bit of a report since one of our fellows went in there yesterday. I think I'd have to go through a lot, all these, I'd have to go through a lot to find that. Okay, and when were you hoping to get up there, I guess as soon as possible kind of thing? Right? As soon as possible, yes. I mean, and there is a lot going on right now and we are spread thin, but um basically how many, how many people could you bring on your end would it just be you and us or well i think i can bring a few people down i'm hoping so so i'm thinking um i know there's uh between you and i there's going to be an action this week in nanaimo um so i'm hoping to use some of those people if they aren't in jail <laughs> um and yeah, I would love to guess, you know, if we could get set up this weekend, that would be nice. This That's weekend, not on my end. I mean, the, the problem yeah. is when you, I've yeah. got a lot of other projects in other areas of my yeah. life. And yeah, I, nearly every time I do any major activist action, my whole other life falls apart. And I'm, I'm trying to, to balance that. But yes. um, yeah. I also understand that, you know, the timing. Yeah. I, like right now, I'm working on the videos of, of being up there so sort of being a media company you know you have to do the videos and so that's what i've been focusing on yeah and um so i'm not sure i don't want to say a date or time right now just because yeah. i've got to take care of this biz right now yeah yeah um, oh i understand i'm yeah i'm, I'm just trying to juggle on <laughs> i know there's just so much to do and of course it's what a few, you know, relatively few people of the entire population. Um, what about any of your, you know, your cohorts that were up there? I'm wondering well, if I could. Be there's a possibility. I don't know. I think they'd rather go up as a whole team. Uh, yeah. they, they might be able to go. 
Um, I can check and see. Uh, maybe Kyle could go with you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> our team's a little small too, so let's. Mm-hmm. How about this? Let's. We're in contact now. Let's. Let's keep in in contact and kind of go with the flow in terms of seeing how this can go about. Uh, it might be a good idea to try to contact someone there. Uh, they may have the village closed, but maybe is there anyone who knows anyone there? I think. Um, I've been given the name of one young father. Okay. And I don't know whether I should even approach that because it may not be a good idea. But we are working on trying to find somebody in there. I would say the next step would be that. Like, we need an ally like Bill Jones. Yeah. Well, we're thinking of um, one suggestion here is to get Bill Jones to um, speak with the chief of the Dididat. Okay. Do you want and me that, to? You know, that's a damn good idea. Do you want me to uh, ask him because I'm in contact with him? With Bill Jones? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I think actually, let me just see if we're, we're actually going there. Um, oh, shoot. This is good. What's that? Um, because, of course, they're part of the new Chalmuth Tribal Council, and the chief is Judah Sayers, and she really wants to protect. I mean, she's devastated with what's happened in, in the um, Nobit area, which is her homeland. So she's very on side. So one suggestion we have here is that she be contacted. So, you know what? Could you, are you in close contact with Bill Jones? I'm just wondering yeah. if we're stepping, cause also. Yeah, so what do you want? What's her name? You know what? I'm just wondering, it must be one of us are, are already contacting. Um, can I get back to you on that? Cause yeah. it may be that we've got, um, Shauna who's in, who, who drives, Bill Jones around and um, and Glenn Reed, who also is very close with Bill Jones. So I'm going to, I'll follow up to make sure that they're contacting. If not, I'm, I'll probably get back to you, but rather than have you, you know, with all that you're doing, then take this on when it's, it may be easier than one of us do. So okay. we'll hold off on that one, but thank you. So I'll let you know. I think for me, the big thing is getting some people just because, you know, between what happens with the two camps that we have now, um, it gets sketchy during the week. You know, um, we get lots of people on the weekend, party the weekend, but then during the week, it gets very difficult to get people out there. And last week was the first week that I didn't spend most of the week out there just because I've gotten so behind with my life and and also work. I'm, I'm actually meant to be working, but him. <laughs> I'm going to put that off as long as I can, but still. I, I have to show effort that I'm at least trying to find work. But anyhow, um, okay, okay, well, let's leave it there. If you can get me Kyle's name and maybe some name of people in Victoria or, or on the island who you think would be willing to show up, that would be wonderful. Okay. Okay, and you've got my email? Uh, send it to me in Facebook. Will do. Okay, thanks so much. All right. Okay, bye. Have a great day. Okay, same to you.